Hi Moglets! Today we're checking out the new Swarm Disaster. I did complete the tutorial section, and it's a really interesting piece of content here with all of these different nodes, which you can unlock by doing certain things, and you'll of course get rewards for doing that. Then we have the Communing Trail, and by getting points here you'll unlock a bunch of different buffs for all paths, regardless of which one you choose. Below that we have the Trail of the Path Strider. Again you have to do various things, like obtain 750 Cosmic Fragments would be our first goal here, and in doing that we get these points down here. Looks like preservation and maybe nihility. So we'd get a 12% death boost for all paths and a 10% dot damage increase, for example. It seems to be a very long-term thing. There are a lot of uh, unlockables here. So I don't think we're gonna obviously be able to complete it today, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna go as far as we can. Our only real choice is to hit start exploring and uh, we can start on difficulty three. I have in the meantime rebuilt my Dan Ill, although to be totally honest, I'm not sure he's actually better, but one of the recommended types is imaginary. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, what's really funny is in this new mode, we have these uh, new swarm enemies. And when you defeat them, you get blessings for a special path that isn't in normal simulated universe that focuses on basic attack damage it's so hilarious like pretty much the day before this came out i released a video and i said okay i don't know which path to use for dawn maybe they'll have a basic attack damage path at one point and lo and behold here it is i don't think we'll really need like gepard yet so we're just gonna double down with the buffs i probably will be autoing mostly through difficulty three and maybe even four so i don't really want to put like skill hungry death downs or something and yeah we start off with only three paths remembrance hunt and destruction i believe this new path is here but for like elation which would be my second most wanted we have to unlock a total of six paths so all the ones that are locked besides the special one and then like for present Preservation, we need a thousand cosmic fragments, etc. We're just gonna go for hunt for now. They do have different buffs than in normal simulated universe, like the main one here. For every charter defeated in battle, all allies crit damage increases by 30% permanently for that run. So of course we really wanna be on the lookout for trotters. And then there are dice effects, but this is getting into the nitty gritty. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it. So we have three planes here. Because we're on hunt path, we will guaranteed get a trotter beacon. You can see it right here, or that may have already been there. And this is the bonus one. Regardless, we wanna get to those trotters. Let's go ahead and enter the domain. First of all, We uh, this is our starting cube we can pick one of these three things as usual i like to go with a curio we'll get this one since it's new and i don't think the difficulty we're at should be a problem anyway from here on it's pretty similar to the standard simulated universe you know we go around in the domain defeating enemies grabbing blessings but at the end there is this communing device which affects the next room you enter these are those dice effects and we can re-roll it this is only a blue rarity which is the lowest rarity so sure let's go ahead and try re-rolling it it's the same exact one so it doesn't matter <laughs> in this case and then we pick our next room of course we're gonna try and go grab this trotter here this is a curio trotter but more importantly it'll give us a, an extra 30 percent crit damage here we can gain four dice rerolls okay let's grab that try and get a good dice from this commuting device this is the same one we just got i am hoping we can carry over our reroll attempts i'll just take this i guess we're just gonna continue on and try and defeat this room here oh god we have a different big lotto but instead of losing all your hp you lose all your energy and technique points i'm not sure what's worse i can usually heal up from one hp we're just gambling with this 40 fragment stuff i've never uh, done this before we already got one negative and now two negative curios I should not gamble because my luck is bad. The rerolls do carry over, which is cool. And we'll just keep this one. I think speed will be nice for the trotter room we're going to next. We got the trotter. And since this was a swarm room, we can choose one of these new propagation blessings. Basic attack, crit damage, 40%. I don't know, they all sound good. Honestly, I'm just gonna take this one though. Ooh, we got a gold dice. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't have any more blessing trotters. And the rewards gained from defeating trotters is doubled. There's this treasure box room but uh wait a minute wait a minute three trotters okay best case scenario does this count because it's like a occurrence thing i hope so we were able to defeat one second one's gone this might just be it for the uh last one here yes Oh, I actually didn't know that. Okay, we have Resonance Interplay. When we have three blessings of the current path and three blessings of another path. So we have Shooting Starfire here. Is this like Abundance since we were restoring HP? Abundance and Elation apparently. I'll check that out in more detail later. Usually I would try and go to all domains to get rewards for everything. But if you notice this countdown symbol here, it can get pretty dangerous pretty quick. Once we reach zero, we enter planar disarray. In a nutshell, enemies become a lot more dangerous. For each tile we move, the level increases by one, going all the way up to level 21, with levels 11 to 20 increasing the damage dealt by 20% 
per level. Very bad stuff. While we're on difficulty three, it probably doesn't matter that much, but I would wager taking the shortest path is the best to avoid a high disruption level. You can choose stage one's boss, and this will affect the final boss in stage three, either giving it ice or physical weakness in this case. I don't have ice or physical in my team right now, so it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just going to choose a random one. Oh, here we go. We got the reroll die. This is amazing since I think we have at least two negative curios. This one I'm going to almost consider as a negative curio because I usually get screwed by this, but then yeah. Moving on to stage or I guess plane two. I'm just going to call them stages though. As you can see, quite a lot bigger already. We're going to enter the plane. We start here. We can talk to Herta. She has her typical stuff. We barely have any cosmic fragments, so I'm not going to buy anything right now. There will be other shops later on as well. Allies can move to any domain in the next three columns during this movement phase. Okay, we're going to take that. And as you can see, we can actually skip an entire room. We could try and grab this trotter and move down and grab these. There are four trotters total in this area. As far as I remember, the final stage is smaller than even the first stage, but we'll probably already be in planar disarray before we even finish this one. So tough choice, but I think I'm just going to ignore this trotter up here and try and race to the boss. We do have a little mini game here, which is always cool. Barrel breaker challenge. I've never done this before. We do have a downloader if there's a specific unit that would be good at this. But I think if we enhance with him, then he kind of does a dashing attack that might be able to destroy more at once. So we'll just try that. Let's, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't even know the layout of this place, so, but he can destroy them pretty quick. Wow, that's really hard. <laughs> uh, we didn't get all 30, damn. Even if I knew exactly how it worked and where to go, I'm not sure I could have gotten all 30. We're missing seven. Whatever, maybe next time. We still got a blessing on 100 cosmic fragments, so it was a pretty good room overall. Oh no, the trotters are actually moving. Right, that's very annoying. Oh, black hole trap sounds insane. I think my allies will mostly be at full HP with Lotch on my team. They were in this case. We keep getting this vengeance die so we can like jump all over the board. We're just gonna go straight to this next trotter, I guess. I do kind of want to attack the bug ones to get those new uh, blessings, but oh my God, what the hell? Why do we have three trotters here? So we've made it to the stage two boss. You can kind of see my path here. I <laughs> really just ran to the boss as fast as possible. Math wise, I'm not sure it's the best. Honestly, I may have been a little too careful skipping all those uh, rewards there. We're still at countdown two and the enemies don't get too dangerous until maybe around level 10, I would say. At that point, they have around 75% increased damage, 40% damage reduction, and I guess like 25% increased speed. Of course, past 10, it gets pretty insane. Every level after that, 20%. So those enemy buffs are kind of scary for me, but we did get all four trotters, these three, and then the one I'm standing on currently also had a trotter. So we currently have 330% extra crit damage. I think that's probably the most important thing. Again, in stage two, we can choose the debuff the final boss will have. This one sounds better to me when an ally's HP falls below 30%, dispels all their debuffs, and that ally can no longer be inflicted with debuffs. I don't have any debuffers, so the first one's not very useful for me. Although maybe I should get a debuffer. I just figured difficulty three wouldn't be that hard, but it's proving to be somewhat of a challenge already. So I assume this will probably go ahead and do it, yeah. Gepard was not much of an issue, to be honest. I am getting a little worried about difficulty four and five though. Fool's Mask, I don't think I wanna gamble on that. We do have a lot of blessings because of all those trotters we uh, came across, like seriously a ton of blessings already, even though we skipped all of those rooms and basically just focus on the trotter rooms. Okay, as you can see, we actually did get those two points uh, and the one point, I guess we got those 750 cosmic fragments, but we are moving on to the third and final stage now. As you can see, much, much shorter, like it kind of is in normal simulated universe. After the second elite, you just have a couple rooms to go. But yeah, I might honestly spend time here and like go through as many rooms as I can since we skipped so many in the first one. And we actually do have a couple of different shops here. I believe Screwlim here sells me blessings. If there are any really good ones, none I care about actually here. And then Herta will sell you curios. I like that you can see which ones are available before spending any cosmic fragments. As in normal sim universe, here is a respite right before the boss where you can go and upgrade all your blessings. So that's mainly what I'm saving for. We'll check out the next mini game just to get a better feel for them, honestly. Oh, I actually have done this one already and failed miserably. I couldn't get the 3,600 points. I tried downloading Yukong because she has like a speed buff, but that didn't actually seem to help much since she has to stop and shoot each trotter way with an arrow. So I'm just gonna probably try Dan again with his dashing attack. Oh yeah, you can really spam that, damn. All right. And he actually moves a lot faster when you're just spamming it. Oh God, that was really easy. I didn't know you could spam it that fast. Okay, the barrel one would have also been a lot easier. 
<laughs> if I knew that. Okay, well, um, and we got three treasure boxes this time. A blessing, cosmic fragments, and maybe a cure. Uh, yes, a curio. Wow, 30% damage for every curio that has been destroyed? I guess fortune glue counts as destroyed. I mean, just one is already a lot. Now we're in planar disarray. Only level one, so it's not a big deal. Three star propagation spores. I don't know, it doesn't sound that good. The wind damage isn't affected by bonuses, though another 40% crit damage on top of like 400 percent we have is also meh. I mean, it's a three star. Has to be good, right? <laughs> I guess we'll get it. We've made it to the final respite. We can go ahead and upgrade our stuff. Yeah, we have 36 blessings, but of course it's a lot longer than a normal sim universe. 17 hunt cards and I didn't get the stacking one where it gives me speed. Jeez, but all right, just went around upgrading some of my stuff. Unfortunately, this dice is completely useless for the boss. A little bit nervous, honestly, because this content takes a long time to get through. We are already over an hour. You could probably do it a little faster if you're not commentating on things, but we also did skip a lot of rooms. I am still pretty confident we can auto. I mean, this team is doing a good amount of damage, obviously with all those blessings. 373K single target, <laughs> yeah. Or 491K single target, whatever. 650 AOE. Also, my Don is just spam attacking, dude. He is not stopping. I think that's partially because he gets 100% of his energy back when he uh, kills anyone. So he can just like spam his burst and then do his like maxed out basic attack, do another burst, kill someone, etc. Ah, there we go. Our first million. That was a 1.2 million. Let's go. I was kind of expecting it in this content, honestly, because it's so much longer and you get so many more blessings. I think that was over a million from a burst. Pretty cool. And yeah, there he goes. That was, uh, I don't think the boss even attacked. That is also hunt path for you, I guess. I'm just surprised we never got the speed buff. I don't know what's up with these, to be totally honest. I'm not usually reading the text here. I don't know if it matters, but all right. We also got biology big bang, apparently getting two abundance and two hunt points. You have walked far enough on the path of the hunt. All right, well, once we leave here, we're going to uh, check that out a little bit. Oh yeah, we have the audience with the dude. I don't know if this story has anything to do with like the main game story. Maybe I should be reading the stuff. I, well, I usually read the one at the end here, but I'm kind of lost because I don't read any, anything else. But all right, we can go ahead and leave now. Got some first time clearance reward. Pretty nice. And let's check out the communing trail. Let's see what, what we have unlocked. 4% speed boost, 10% HP, 10% dot damage, and 12% death. Let's check out the trail of the path strider. So yeah, we have unlocked a couple of things here. We got the 750 cosmic fragments, obtained a total of 10 enhanced blessings. We did that. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like like you don't gain progress on anything still locked, which I guess makes sense because we've definitely done more than zero combat domains, but yeah, we have to actually unlock the path first and then do it. But also looks like we can start on this one as well, enter and complete a transaction domain for a total of three times at difficulty two or higher, for example. So, but geez, there are a lot. And like I said, one run took us over an hour. I am quite sure this is a permanent content, thankfully. We can also get some small rewards down here as well when we complete something. Of course, I do wanna try and get through difficulty four and five. I won't have as much commentary probably, at least on four, because it's gonna be similar to what we just did. Over here, we have completed the hunt one. Unless I am blind, there does not seem to be a hunt two. Most other paths do seem to have a two, so whatever, we'll figure that out later, I suppose. But we can try difficulty four now, recommended team levels 80. Just difficulty five, it just has torturous difficulty there. Four is already recommended level 80. What, what, you, you, you can't have more than that right now. And the boss is level 87 already. For difficulty four, I'm thinking about either taking Silver Wolf or like Gepard. I think it would be a little slower with Gepard, but definitely more safe. We do also have Abundance and Preservation now to get Nihility, which would then also unlock Elation. After a challenge is interrupted, do I have to like die? I don't, I don't know what that means. But since we already did hunt, actually let's uh, go Gepard and go preservation. I'm pretty sure we have to play through all paths at least once anyway. Preservation's main sort of utility buff seems pretty interesting. So we have these special like orange auras around some domains. These are called cornerstone and basically they don't get disabled like normal rooms once you pass them. So we could technically wrap around here, I guess. I'm not even gonna try cause I don't wanna waste the stuff. So I initially thought, okay, cornerstone's kind of useless. 
useless, but but when you're fighting a boss or a boss swarm domain, you obtain an extra blessing for each different type of cornerstone. We have uh, an occurrence and a combat currently. Even so, that only matters in stage one and two because the third one, you don't get blessings, you don't need blessings, it's over. So with that in mind, I still think the preservation thing is kind of mid, especially compared to Hunt, getting all those trotters and the massive stacking crit damage bonus. We did just get a cornerstone on this elite as well, so maybe we're gonna get a lot of blessings Okay, but it actually happens before the boss, so maybe it would work on uh, stage three as well. These are not necessarily special blessings or or anything. I am starting to think that perhaps difficulty five is only for when you like, you know, get most of those buffs that you can obtain by repeatedly doing this. My Branya already died. Uh, difficulty four is already proving to be an issue even with Gepard and Lacha in my team, which is crazy. I'm also thinking maybe, at least with this team, preservation path isn't optimal. Just the wind shear damage is nearly one-shotting me. That is absolutely crazy. Yep, I think that's where this one ends. Jeez. I wasn't... I was expecting to be able to at least get through difficulty four, but I mean, I might be able to going back on hunt path or just like farming difficulty two for a while and getting some of those buffs. Wow, okay. Does that count as being interrupted? Oh, it does, look at that, Nihility. I mean, I guess it could have been something else. Like there was this moment that was seemingly random that could have been it as well, but it'll probably just happen by itself. But okay, we have every uh, path unlocked now. This one though, unlocks after collecting all chapters of Swarm Disaster and completing the adventure mission, Swarm Disaster, the end. Maybe it just means we have to unlock all of these things, which, would be a grind, but it wouldn't be that hard since you can just choose a low difficulty. It doesn't really matter. Something did say at least difficulty two. That might be a requirement for some of the uh, path strider stuff. Yeah, this for example, difficulty two or higher. So I'd probably stick to difficulty two until something tells me difficulty three or higher, etc. But yeah, again, all of these buffs transfer to all paths. And for each path, there are not only a lot of buffs, but there's somewhat significant as well. So that's a lot of stats and other perks we are currently missing out on. And I'm assuming difficulty five is going to be nearly impossible if not just straight up impossible with, with without having at least some of those we actually don't even have the uh first time clear rewards for difficulty one and two so <laughs> i guess we're going to do those real quick it shouldn't take too long i'm assuming maybe we'll just start with difficulty two but it could be everything past this point is at least difficulty two or higher anyway i don't know though it just gives me question marks but our goal for the next one would be hitting transaction domains so we are going to do that we'll go remembrance path just to hopefully sort of get it out of the way the main buff with remembrance path is recollection and you get effect hit rate when passing through these domains not interesting at all but we do have a transaction domain up here so we're gonna be heading that way there's also a good opportunity to get any curios or blessings you haven't gotten before while you're on a low difficulty oh cool here we do have two transaction domains i messed up let's try and at least complete the six combat domains then oh yeah true there's another transaction domain right here at the beginning of uh, stage three this run overall was pretty mid but i guess it doesn't really matter i'm just upgrading random stuff at this point because it's difficulty two and all it seems like even difficulty two isn't something to uh be careless about i've already had some really close calls this battle oh <laughs> oh no don't tell me we're gonna actually die dude not after all this i don't see how we're gonna kill anyone with with our dps and now okay everyone else wow do we get anything like do we at least get the uh thing for the the stuff or is it just like I never did that? Okay, no, we at least got the uh, enter and complete transaction domain. Okay, okay, cool. This is the main thing I'm concerned with right now. And we also got, we only did two combat domains? Okay, I guess like elites don't count. Yep, and now we already have to do difficulty three or higher. And this one would be the easiest to complete on hunt. So we'll just worry about that later, I guess. And I'm assuming this one gets unlocked when maybe everything on its level is done or at least also unlocked dude we died on difficulty too <laughs> to be fair it was a really bad run and uh remembrance path is kind of useless for me and everything else was pretty useless but I kind of figured difficulty two wouldn't be anything, honestly, but we may as well do difficulty one, I suppose. We definitely shouldn't have a problem on difficulty one, right? Dude, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I mean, it's all those stacks of wind shear. I think that's what's actually like hurting me so much. We're going to die on difficulty one. 
<laughs> what the fuck? I don't see how I could go through difficulty three easy peasy and then we're dying on difficulty one. I mean, I am, of course, being like less careful with blessings and, you know, remembrance path sucks, but difficulty one? I will probably try and unlock the propagation path before attempting difficulty four, if that's even possible. We uh, did indeed get the six combat domains now. Trigger planar disarray two times at difficulty two or higher. Mm, that's weird. We're at difficulty one, but... We already have one triggered here. Six domains with any beacon. I mean, most of these will happen by themselves, but like, honestly, I guess the main takeaway is you should actually start at the lowest difficulty, get these early ones, and then actually go up in difficulty when it forces you to, to get the next ones, so on and so forth. Because running another difficulty one at this point is basically pointless. We have the stuff here. Oh, but it looks like we did get Remembrance 1 finished, at least. Oh, there is a Remembrance 2. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think you actually need to go on Remembrance Path. Oh my god, okay. I, I have been suffering for the last two hours for nothing. I see. So when we get a certain amount of these points here, I think eight for example, Remembrance 2, uh, then that thing will be unlocked there. None of these, at least so far, tells us we need to be on a specific path just to do specific things. That could change at one point, maybe these golden ones, I'm not sure. But yeah, I guess you don't have to go on any specific path if you don't want to. So that's obviously good to know. I think for me, that will do it for today. Uh, this isn't a piece of content I want to spam and grind. I mean, it has been over three hours already, but you know, once we've gone through most of the basics and stuff, I just don't really see the point of you know, sitting here and recording more of it, at least right now. So I will most likely have a follow-up video to this. Once we've done all the f boring farming and unlocked all this stuff, uh, I'll probably come back and try and do difficulty four and five again. When we've unlocked a lot more of this stuff, we've unlocked the propagation path. That's the one I'm most interested in really. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think about the new swarm disaster in the comments down below, leaving a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed it is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks as always for watching. And until next time.